Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I got a bunch of Chicago Bulls news. Also, sorry about yesterday's video. It had a few problems and I just wasn't happy with that video. But either way, when I hit 15,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of some sort. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like on today's video and any comments and questions below today's video about anything you guys got for me and about any of the topics I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Like I said, this video has a bunch of Bulls news, so stay tuned. I'm going to be talking about Patrick Williams working out in LA. Also, the Chicago Bulls trade deadline plans are like finally revealed. I'm going to be talking about that. I'm going to be talking about the Bulls versus 76ers game tomorrow and a player update as well. So like I said, let me just jump right into the like the player update and the Bulls game ver tomorrow versus the 76ers. You know, it's been a long, I'd say, week for All-Star break. I'm happy that Bulls basketball is finally back. And tomorrow, the Chicago Bulls take on the 76ers at 7 o'clock. And if you guys watch the All-Star game, let's be honest, the game was pretty boring. Same with the dunk contest. That was probably one of the worst dunk contests I've ever watched. And I wish Zach would have done it, but I understand why he didn't. But either way, you know, Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons were in like close contact with someone that had COVID. So they did not play in the All-Star game and they have to stay away from the NBA or like their team for like seven days. I believe they come back Friday. So that's good luck for the Bulls. You know, tomorrow, the Philadelphia 76ers will be without two of their best players. And that's a great opportunity for the Chicago Bulls, especially because the Chicago Bulls will be at home and we should hopefully win that game. You know, no matter what, even though they are missing their two best players, you know, it's still going to be a hard game. I believe the 76ers are going to fight. No matter what, any game in the NBA is a hard game, but I hope the Bulls do pull it out. That really help out the Bulls, especially coming off a long break. So I do expect the Bulls to win that game tomorrow night. And some more great news. Talk like speaking of that game and a player, a quick player update right now. You know, Billy Donovan went on 670 the score this morning. It's like a podcast or a radio show. Huge shout out to Daniel Greenberg for putting this out. And he was talking about the possibility of when Laurie Marketing and Otto Porto Jr. will return. There's been a lot of rumors about trade rumors surrounding those two and just health issues and such. And Billy Donovan said that there's a very strong possibility that Lori Markkinen and Otto Porter Jr. will return tomorrow night against the 76ers. You know, that's great news. The Bulls team will finally be 100% healthy if they're both back. You know, I'm really excited for that. I haven't seen Lori and Otto play in, honestly, like a month. And the Bulls definitely missed them. Hopefully, Lori helps out, you know, Levine. Hopefully, he continues to put up good numbers. He's been putting up very solid numbers when healthy. And the whole Otto Porter Jr. situation has always been a mess. I just hope he can stay healthy. You know, who knows if the Bulls are going to trade him. You know, there's been some rumors about a buyout. And I'm going to be talking about that later in today's video as well. But no matter what, both these guys coming back will help out the Chicago Bulls. And especially help out them, like just help them win out games. And hopefully aim for the playoffs. So that's great news. And speaking of the All-Star break, you know, huge shout out to Zach Levine for finally becoming an All-Star. And, you know, even though the three-point contest, he didn't play his best, I'm still happy he was out there, you know, putting on a show for the, the, I mean, the NBA and the city of Chicago. Hopefully he can recruit some stars to come help him in Chicago. But either way, for All-Star break, you know, a lot of like NBA players and the Bulls, especially the Bulls players like to like go on vacation and just stay away, not think of the game and just worry, you know, not worry about being on a diet and working out. But this is a great sign to see. And another huge shout out to Daniel Greenberg for putting this out on Twitter. And Chicago Bulls rookie Patrick Williams has been spending his all-star break in LA training. I saw some videos and pictures. I'll try to throw up any videos or pictures that I can find of him training with his trainer. But you just love to see that. You know, he has started every game pretty much. I think he missed like one game because of injury or something. But for a 19-year-old that just turned 19, like the second youngest or the youngest player in the league, He's starting every game for the Bulls, putting up solid numbers, and even on All-Star break when he could get away and like relax a little bit, he's still putting in that work in LA, and I'm just happy with this kid. I know I made a mailbag video the other day. Definitely check out that video if you guys missed it. About me talking about if I'd rather have LaMelo or Patrick Williams, but I truly believe Patrick Williams will be the better player in a few years. He has all the potential, all the tools. He reminds me of Kawhi Leonard so much. 
you know, if he can truly turn into the next Kawhi, that would definitely help out the Bulls, and that'd really help out Zach Levine's game. It, I just feel like those two would be a great complement for one another. But either way, definitely leave some comments and questions below about that. I'm just happy with Patrick Williams and his rookie year so far. He's putting up solid numbers. I just hope the Bulls start running more plays for him and giving him more ch like more chances and more plays. It'll just help him develop and honestly help the Bulls be a better team because Zach Levine needs a lot of help some nights, and I just feel bad for him. And some big news surrounding the Chicago Bulls and the trade deadline coming up. You know, I made a video about the Bulls expecting to be sellers at the trade deadline, but that is not the news anymore. That is not the case. The Chicago Bulls are reportedly no longer itching to make a move at the trade deadline. You know, the trade deadline is coming up in a week or two, I'd say pretty much two weeks away. And on Monday, the Ringers, Kevin O'Connor, he talked about two important pieces about the Chicago Bulls trade season approach. And of course, the Chicago Bulls, I made, a, I talked about this in my last video, Thaddeus Young is not available. That's what our Taurus is telling other teams. There's also been some rumors about the Bulls possibly trading Otto Porter Jr. or, the, or both sides coming to an agreement. I saw a lot of NBA teams are interested in trading for him. So it's looking like the Bulls are just going to stand pat at the NBA trade deadline. That's what I expect. Maybe a, like a little move, possibly. I don't really see the Bulls being buyers or sellers. I would rather us be buyers than sellers because we are in a playoff hunt. And Zach Levine needs more help. I'm not, I'm not sure who's on the trade deadline or like the trade market. I know there's not too many big names, but no matter what, I expect the Bulls to stand pat and not make any moves. Definitely leave some comments and questions about how you guys feel about that. That's the recent rumor going around. And now talking about the Otto Porter Jr. situation, you know, ever since the Bulls traded for him, he's just been filled with injuries. That whole situation was a fail. You know, I'm happy Otto Porter Jr. is finally coming off the books soon, it's sounding like, or of course this offseason coming up. And like I said in my last video, I'd rather trade Otto Porter Jr., try and get something in return rather than buy him out or just let him walk for nothing this offseason, especially if a lot of NBA teams are interested. I'm not sure why they are. I mean, when healthy, he's probably one of the best 3 and D type players in the NBA, but that's just not the case. He's not healthy. And this whole season and last season with Otto has just been really confusing, honestly. But the big thing that I see if the Bulls say do buy out Otto Porter Jr., you know, the Bulls will have one roster spot open then. And who knows what the Bulls could do with that? Of course, they could sign a young guy or like a veteran on the free agent market, possibly sign Andre Drummond if he gets bought out by the Cavs. Who knows what's happening with that situation? But that is definitely interesting. I'm not sure what the Bulls are going to do with Otto Porter Jr. There's been a lot of rumors on that. But no matter what, I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick little update video and player update and just all the news I was talking about. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about any of the topics. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed and leave a quick like on today's video for my 15,000 subscribers giveaway. Thank you guys for all the love on every video and always watching my videos. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.